Hey guys, what is going on? We're playing some Uber's Pokemon Showdown. Uh, we're playing against this guy called uh, Sir Brezzo. And yeah, let's just say I kind of trolled the guy, but um, it's, his own, it's his own fault. <laughs> it really was. It was just one of those gameplays where you're kind of like, my god. So yeah, I was trying out some new things in this team. I had a uh, Primal Kyogre and Primal uh, Grabdon. Uh, I had Aegislash for the first time. Uh, Dark Rai, Chinchino of course, had to keep him or Vivillian on my team, Chinchino was just there. Bit of an indie thing, some people don't know how to go against him when uh, he's in the uber section. So me and this guy's got a shuckle and uh, Sc I've got Skarmory. And we're setting up, we're setting up the fields and I thought okay, this guy's, you know, maybe knows what he's doing. Based on his team, probably not, he's kind of got a weird team, he's got Aegislash as well, as well as uh, I think Noibat I think that is as well. And he's got Mega Gang uh, Kangaskhan or Kangaskhan. He's got Blissey, Shuckle, and uh, I think Porygon 2. Maybe Porygon Z, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, so he's setting up and then he goes for Toxic. I'm just like, uh, okay. Why Why do you go for Toxic twice? He goes, why is it fair? I goes, oh, it's, uh, you need to go for three times. He goes, three times. I goes, yes, the three times it poisons. He goes, no. And I go, yes, if it's very high defensive Pokemon like Skarmory, then you need uh, to do it more than three times. And he goes for it again. <laughs> and I goes, oh, maybe it's four, I thought it was three. And he goes, yeah, no. And he, then he does it anyway. And then he's like, what the hell? And he's like, why did you do that? And I'm like, do what? And he's like, yeah, the, yeah. He's, he's all about what I defog, but he said defog, which is funny. But yeah, I went for the defog because I was thinking... I wasn't thinking actually, that's the point. I thought, I forgot Defog doesn't just clear your, uh, clear their, no actually no, no. clear your uh, surface, it clears the entire field. So I was thinking I'll get rid of my, the Stealth Fox and my area and then I'll just switch in and yeah, take him out. But no, I had to take the entire field off so all those spikes and stuff I put up was just dumb. <laughs> And like I was asking the guy like what <laughs> what his power level was, he's like he didn't understand at all. It was funny. Most people who watch this video will probably get the reference, but um, yeah, I had to go him for using f f who I was like I was like Dark Rye as like Dark Pokemon against his like uh, against his uh, ghost or psychic, whatever it was. And uh, yeah, so he has this stupid blissy out there. This is just the luckiest thing you've ever seen. Watch this. Watch this. One, who the hell has flamethrower on a goddamn blissy? And two, why the hell would have used that on a dark cry? And it, it didn't predict the squ switch to Skarmory, because why would you? There's no, there's no way I would switch into Skarmory against, you know. It just, no. <laughs> but, um... <coughs> I went for the uh, roar, and this is a bit of a fail because uh, I set up again. I set up stealth rocks. What's he go for? Of course, he sets up his stealth rocks, which is like, ah, not this again. Fighting a losing battle right now. Goes for power spot. I'm not sure why he's in this, but I go for the roar. And this is a good strategy to do with Skarmory because even if he is the last guy, and you've got a couple guys against you, or even if you have like a couple left. If you set up the field and you keep using Roar, they're going to get heart and heart and heart, which is uh, perfect. Now I went for the spikes again, I thought there's no point, I went for, try, I tried to go for spikes again, but he's going to outspeed me and I was like, well there's not really much point to uh, Skarmory now anyway, like you know I've got two sets of spikes up and I've got stealths, so I don't really care if he dies, he's not a powerhouse Pokemon like, the, like most of my team. <laughs> And I'm like, what is your power level? Hint, there's only one answer. And he goes, my power level. And I'm like, yes. What is it? And he goes, I was like, is it 8,999? Or is it over 9,000? <laughs> yeah, I clicked the wrong button. So I went for a Dream Eater. Did not mean that whatsoever. So he wiped me out. And I'm thinking, oh god, this guy's actually going to beat me. <laughs> oh god, this guy's a bit derpy. I got Primal Kyogre. Which is pretty much a powerhouse. Now, Blissey, of course, is one of those Pokemon that's just like, no, I hate Blissey, but I'll go for the Aqua Ring. Good move just to get that uh, boost of HP every turn, which is uh, a decent little thing. Get the Scald off as well, which is good. 
so yeah, take him down. He's he's almost dead. He switches my god damn um thing. Uh, what do you call it? Ability. This guy's like doesn't even know what he's doing. He didn't even know like obviously primal Kyogre's gonna have primal C or primordial C, which is gonna make the rain. So when he takes you down, but yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. I get I get the the free attacks off with the uh, ice beam. I go for the thunderbolt because obviously the rain was still up when I went for it, and I was like, oh god, he switched out. This is probably gonna miss. Great. I get the thunderbolt, and then I get the paralyzed heal hacks. Like two in a row status moves. GG. <laughs> Guess the Mega Kangas can, but it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna outspeed him, and Scald just tears him apart. So yeah, he's, he's got four Pokemon left, so do I, but um, like I said, two sets of spikes plus uh, stealth rocks, pretty much GD from now on, because a lot of his, he's got a couple of Pokemon that are weak, and they're just going to get taken out. Shuckle just got wiped out right there. Aegislash is going to get a little bit of damage as well, which is awesome. And he's asleep, which is perfect. Really is. He changed into a blade form, I don't think it's going to matter. And I get, I get the Scald off and absolutely just wipe him out as well. <clears throat> Obviously, I get stabbed with Scald. It's a good move. People use it over like Surf and stuff just because you get that burn. But like I said, those Stealth Rocks and Spikes, Blissey comes out and just dies. Porygon Z. I followed Porygon 2, I don't know why. But yeah, uh, Porygon Z. People use like. Sometimes you use Porygon 2 because they'll use uh, Evil Light, which gives you obviously a boost in stats because he can evolve. But I'll wipe him out again, and that right there, guys, is game set and match. But I had to upload this just because this guy was just, uh, just hilarious. I don't have a clue how how one person could still keep using toxic and toxic and toxic and toxic. Yeah, I'm a bit derpy, and I forget that Will Wisp doesn't work if we've got another stats move or. You know, using certain moves because they like, uh, turn to fire Pokemon or whatever like that. But like, when you do something and you keep doing it like four times or five times, you're just thinking, what the hell? But fair play to the guy. The guy didn't quit out, but I don't think he had the brains to quit out. But that was just a hilarious game. I had to upload this. I'm enjoying Ubers, to be honest. I play this and I play Yu Yu, but I might keep playing Ubers. I'm actually enjoying it, especially when I use like lower tier Pokemon and beat people. It's just like GG. But guys, if you enjoyed that one, drop a like. Definitely drop a like for the trolls. The trolls were real. And I'll see you guys later.